Suasa. So you don't have the world's best setup, right? <clears throat> By the way, y'all doing all right tonight? I ain't changing nothing. You get a thousand views on one video, you get five on another, right? <coughs> Who the hell knows how the algorithm or whatever works, right? Here's what I'm. Here's what I'm gonna try to show you, teach you. This we're on video, show you at the same time, right? <coughs> Say you got an old war ass out guitar. Say you got a uh, well, lackluster amplifier. Okay. Doesn't have anything but. Uh, Let's say it just didn't have anything but uh, an EQ and uh, volume and gain. Let's say it didn't have anything but that because that's all that I use. That's all that really matters. <clears throat> so let's take let's take that. Just like I said, let's turn the reverb off, right? <laughs> choking out and dying out so say you don't even have reverb so what do you do well there's a few things that you can do one is play with your knobs okay no no pun really intended but use your knobs this is an automatic noise gate and by automatic I mean you can use your hand and shut that motherfucker up All right does cool sound effects get your hand used to using your knobs and your switch okay just get used to it <laughs> with it all the time play with it all the time so, and then all, almost all my videos <clears throat> this little mg15 little solid state marshal so what should you do what, what can you do to to get a little bit of good sound out of it well you're gonna need more bass right but it's a blend so the best way that I can say it is turn the bass up you're gonna need more bass and then mess with the middle and treble. Play with it until it's got some clarity, until it sounds good to your ear. 
and don't be afraid to add way too much middle or way too much treble or crank everything wide open or take everything way down. You know, there's there's no rules, right? It's just when it sounds good, when it sounds right, when it, you know, there's that clarity there where you can hear the strings ringing and, you know, that's that's basically what it's about. It needs to sound like a guitar all the time, you know, unless you're doing some really crazy shit. I guess you can do whatever you want. But, we're talking about just regular old guitar playing. <clears throat> well, let's say you have an amplifier that doesn't even have overdrive. Okay, I'm going to turn my overdrive off. Well, what can you do to make it sound good? Well, I would say if you do not have overdrive, I would stay away from the, the pokey bits, right? The super high-end stuff. The treble pickup's probably not going to be your friend at that point. Uh, I would pick uh, almost anything except for the treble pickup, to be totally honest. Or, or you can pick the treble pickup, and if you like the super pokey stuff, you, you can leave the tone up. But if you don't like the super pokey stuff, you know, play with your knobs. Turn the tone down, right? You've got a massive amount of control right there. These are, uh, some people know them as tone controls. Anyway, so you've got a lot of control there. So, let's say that you, you don't even have uh, overdrive. Well, what can you do? I mean, what, what can you do? You want to rock, you don't have overdrive. Well, let's find out. super fancy shit and nothing like that. I know this guitar is a little bit on the fancy. It's a, it's a S series, but I played this thing to death. I mean, if you looked at it with your own eyes and kind of looked it over, then <laughs> it has a crack in the heel joint. I mean, it's 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 pretty wore out. Really, it is. And that amplifier probably ain't worth a hundred bucks. I mean, for a couple hundred bucks and a ten dollar cable and fifty cents worth of fucking picks, man, you can, you can pretty much do whatever you want. That's the truth. <clears throat> you just gotta practice it, you know? Mess with it, keep playing with your knobs, keep playing with the switch, keep keep running that hand up and down the neck. Does it make sense? Who cares? Who cares? I mean, it's not really gonna matter unless you're playing in front of somebody or unless you're recording to let someone else hear it. See how it's kinda like, it doesn't matter until someone else has to hear it? That's because it doesn't. None of that stuff matters. And get comfortable, for the love of Christ, get comfortable like you don't have to you know you don't have to do this I don't know where that came from or this or this or you don't have to do any of that you don't have to do if you're going into a solo you don't have to do it like this you know uh, that's that's all junk it's not real 
it's stuff people made up. Uh, you know, they've seen, you know, some really great guitar player at some time, you know, sling the guitar up and do this number, you know, and run up and down the fretboard. You know, that's, I don't know where some of this crazy stuff come from, or playing down by your knees where your hands like this, you know, and it's really, really hard to play. Just get comfortable. Set everything up where it's comfortable, where it's easy to get to. And just, just play it, you know, that's what it comes down to. Anyway, that's all I got for you tonight. Hope you have a good night. And uh, maybe you learned a little bit of something from this. And, uh, yeah, you don't have to have a lot of money to uh, play guitar and enjoy it and, and get really, really super good at it, you know. Matter of fact, I think I know quite a few stories, true stories about people that are really, really good that uh, uh, didn't even have a guitar to start with. And then uh, got one as a piece of junk. And I uh, did some really odd and crazy, amazing, beautiful things and got, well, super famous for it. Hmm. Maybe you know some of the same stories that I'm thinking of. Anyway, I'm out. Y'all have a good night. Take care. Play your guitar. Play it all the time. Play it to pieces. <laughs>